All right, advanced math. We're going to reverse things today. Instead of me giving you a data set and having you find things like the mean, median, mode, and range, today I'm going to give you things like a mean, median, mode, and range and ask you to figure out what could have possibly been the data set. So today we're going to create a data set for given values. So write that as your next page. And after you have done that, close your notebook up and concentrate with me. This is a real thinker today, so bring your top level concentration. All right, so this is a real thinker, but they're kind of fun too. They're like a like a little puzzle that you've got to solve. Um, so let's try one together. So I'm going to switch things up. So I'm going to say 10 students, typo, 10 students time themselves, hold, this is bad grammar, holding their breath. Let's try that again. 10 students time themselves holding their breath. They had a mean time of 25 seconds. A median time of 24 and a half seconds, a mode time of 24 seconds, and a range of 10 seconds. What could their actual times have been? Woo! All right. So let me walk you through how I would do this. So first thing I see here is I've got 10 students. So I know that my data set's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different students holding their breath, okay? And so when I look at all of these, um, I usually, the mean's the hardest one to deal with. So I'm gonna deal with the mean last. Um, median's nice to start with, because so it says they have a median time of 24 and a half seconds. So there are 10 kids here, and so I know the median's gonna be right there. The median is going to be where there's five over here and there's five over here. So I know I need a median of 24 and a half seconds, and it's got to be between this and this. So I think the easiest thing for me is I'm going to know that these two are probably going to be 24 and 25. That way I know the median. Whatever happens to these numbers over here won't matter as long as they're less than 24. Whatever happens to these numbers over here won't matter as long as they're more than 25. And I've got my median. So I've kind of like checked that one off. I like to start there. Um, a mode of 24. So I know I'm going to need at least two 24s, maybe three. Um, so a lot of these questions don't only have one possible answer. You know, there might be multiple ways you could fill in these blanks and meet all these requirements. Um, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to do three 24s. Why not? Because that gives me more blanks. Maybe even four 24s would be a good idea. I'm not sure. I'll start with three. I can always add another one if I need to. So I'm going to check this. I've just got to make sure I don't use any number more than three times. And then I've got my mode done. All right, a range of 10 seconds. That means from my lowest value to my highest value is going to be a distance of 10. I have some choices here, right? I could do like 22 here and 32 here. I could do 21 here and 31 here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to need. So what I'm going to probably do is just kind of pick something that I think might make it easier. You know, I'm noticing a mean of 25, so I want to be somewhere evenly around there. So I'm going to try something and then see if I can make it work. Again, just like mode, I can always change this later. So I'm going to pick maybe 20 to 30. And the reason I did that is my mean is 25, so I think it'll be the easiest for me to kind of be halfway between 20 and 30. So right now, if I stop here, I've got a median of 24 and a half, I've got a mode of 24, and I've got a range of 10. I've met all the requirements except for the mean. And I said I'm going to do the mean last because the mean's kind of tricky. So here's what I know. I know I'm going to have to add these up, to, and they're going to add up to something. And then I'm going to divide that something by 10, because there's 10. 
And after I divide that by 10, I'm going to have a mean of 25. That's how I'm going to calculate the mean. Add those up, divide by 10, and I'll get 25, right? So since I know that, it's something divided by 10 is 25. I can figure out what they've got to add up to. Does that make sense? So I know, like, I need them to add up to 250. Because then when I do 250 divided by 10, I've got 25. So, so far, so I need them to all add up to 250. And I have used, uh, I have you, I have done 20. So I'm going to take that 20 away. I'm going to take 24 away. 24 away. 24 away. 25 away. And 30 away. So what I have now is I need 103 more in those four blanks, and they have to in four different numbers, right? So I've got to do 103 more, and I've, all I have to do is just make sure I don't um, mess my median mode and range up when I do that. So let's see. So what I'm going to do here, 103, like that doesn't leave me much room. That like That'd be like 25, 25, 25, four 25s would make 100, and then like three more. Now, I have to be careful because I can't put a bunch of 25s because otherwise I'm going to make 25 be the new mode. So I have to be kind of careful there. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll just do like a 21 here. So let me take that away. Now I need my last three to add up to 82. So I need my last three to add up to 82, and they all have to be more than 25 and less than 30. So what if I did, let's see, what if I did 26, 27, 28? Let me see what that is up to. 26, 27, 28. That adds up to 81. So if I did 26, 27, 28, I would only be off by one, so I just have to add, make one of them be one more. So why don't I do this one? 29. And so now I kept my mode of 24. I kept my range of 10. I kept my median of 24 and a half, and I made sure that they had a mean of 25. So I did them all. It's like a puzzle, right? Pretty tricky, but it's a puzzle. It's harder when you have something like 10 numbers. Um, I'm going to make the future ones only have like six. I just wanted you to see how I did it. So it's tricky. Do the mean last. The mean's the hardest one. Um, and the first three are pretty easy. All right? Open up your notebook. Let's try one together. So we're do this. Ryan took six social studies tests last semester. He had a mean grade of 85, median grade of 86 and a half, mode grade of 83, and a range of 10. What could the scores have been? So we know he took six tests. By the way, if you want to try this on your own without me, just go ahead and pause and do it. And then unpause and watch me do it and see how you did. So I'm going to put in my six blanks. And again, if you want to put in your notes, I'm going to do the mean last because the mean's the hardest. The mean's going to help me find all the numbers that don't necessarily have to be a certain one. So I like to start with my median. So median grade of 86 and a half. Probably since the median's here, chances are it's going to be 86 and 87. Not necessarily. Could do 85 and 88 and still meet that requirement if I want to. But, you know, that just seems like a logical place to start. Again, I'm telling you, these probably there's not only one set of answers probably that works here. So if I do 86 and 87, then I've got my median for starters. All right. Next, let's do the mode. So the mode of 83, 83 is less than 86. So I've got to have more than one 83, and I only have two spots for 83. So that's they, they have to be here. There's no other choice. So now I've got 83 and 83. So I met my mode. And I've got my median. Now the range, the range is going to be easier in this one than the last one. Remember, last one I had some choices. Like, it's like 12, could it be 20 to 30? 
could be 21 to 31, and I didn't really know. This one, I know, because if I look at this, I already know the lowest has to be 83 because of my mode. And so if the lowest one has to be 83, that means that the highest one has to be 93, because I know I have a range of 10. So now I've met my range of 10, I've met my mode of 83, I've met my 86 and a half. All I have to do now is figure out what this could be. I have to use the mean to find this. All right, my mean is going to determine what that one has to be. So, a couple choices. I could just guess. I could say, eh, it's got to be something between 87 and 93. Can't be 87, because if I did, I would have another mode, which it doesn't say I do. Can't be 93, because then that would be another mode, and I only I don't. So, really, the only possibilities are 88, 89, 90, 91, or 92. It has to be one of those, because anything else is not going to work. So I just have to figure out with the mean which one of those it's going to be. So I've got, if I ignore that one first, I have 83 plus 83 plus 86 plus 87 plus 93. So those add up to 432. And I'm just going to take a guess. I'm going to try 88. So if that's 88... They add up to that, and I divide by six scores. I get that. That is not going to give me a mean grade of 85. Hang on. So I just pause for a minute and realize I made this impossible. So let me do me a favor here. In your notes, go ahead and change this to 87. Because I, I just realized when I did that, I can't possibly have a mean of 85 because this was too high. And I can't make this any lower than 88 to get a lower number without messing with what I already did. So I actually made this one impossible. So let's go ahead and change that to 87. My mistake. These are really tough ones to make. Um, so I said 88 can't be it. So it needs to be higher than 88. You could try 89, try 90. I'm going to guess 90 next. Try to calculate my mean with 90. So 83 plus 83 plus 86, plus 87, plus, I'm going to try 90, plus 93. See if 90 does it. They add up to that, divide by 6, and I have my mean of 87. So 90 has to be it. And so sorry I had to change that, but the process still works exactly the same, right? I did my median, I knew that had to be that, found my mode, the mode told me what my highest and lowest had to be. And then all I had to do was use the mean to find that last number. So he got an 83, an 83, an 86, an 87, a 90, and a 93. And I've met all my requirements. So that's how they work. These are pretty tough. Um, but I feel like they're kind of fun. Like I said, they're kind of like a puzzle or like a little mystery you've got to solve. Um, if you want to go back and watch either one again so you can hear me think through them, these are harder than usual things I would say to do. Um, and we will do one with a partner and one by yourself when you get here tomorrow. So make sure you're in good shape when you do. But once you feel like you understand these, um, you're all done. See you then.